I guess I am the first person, well, maybe not the first, but I don't think everybody does their dishes with their PDF on every time. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I recently got this, whoop, can I show it? Yeah. This Palm FXR PFD. And I don't know, when I get new stuff, I just like to wear it and feel it and play with it and be busy with it. Busy with it? I don't know if you can say it like that. So, but I've got some things coming in the mail. So we're waiting for that right now to sort of finish up my whole setup with the PFD. So we're gonna wait for that and then we're gonna head up to the cave and fix this puppy up. All right. It's the next day and the package has arrived. So let's go and unpack them. The two things I got to finish up my PFD uh, was some uh, rope and I got a watch, which was just a cheap watch, but it's a 10 atmosphere watch, which means you can well dive a little deeper and they're more suited for water sports. It's actually glow in the dark. Can you see that? Focus. What I wanted to use the rope for was to fix my knife and my whistle to my PFD. So the FXR, it has a special compartment for your knife. And what I saw online was a guy sort of made a piece of string and he attached it to his, oh, what's this, shoulder strap, to the shoulder strap of your PFD. So that is what I am going to do. So I figured after tying it on, you won't really need any more length than arm's length, right? Because you can't cut anything further away than arm's length anyway. So I figure we'll go with something like this. I wanted to say I needed to get a scissors, but I've got a knife right here. Test it out. Pwop. So let's first fix it to the knife. Quite a nice knot in here. Always use your teeth on a knot the best way. Can't get there. Now, anti figure eight. Oh my god, it's too short. As you can see, I tie knots all the time. So that's a double eight knot. And that took way, way too long to make. So I think I'm just gonna leave the long end on. Whoa, I'm sweating. Not because of all the knots and because of all the fails, but because it's like 27 degrees up in here. So let's go fix it to my PFD. Now I want to make sure this loop is as small as possible so I don't get like snagged on it on the wire. So I don't know if you can see that. I think that's, that's acceptable. So I just put the knife in. Of course, you gotta make sure the rest of the rope's all in there. Now you're all ready to go. You just pull it out, take your knife out. Awesome! Now the second thing I wanna attach to my PFD is my little small whistle. And I'm going to do that in the same way. I'm just gonna attach it to one of the carabiner hooks that's inside of the PFD. And I think I'm gonna use the string that came with the knife for it because that was pretty nice string. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and I'll move downstairs because the lighting is a little bit better there. And then I wanna to talk to you about how, I don't know, we'll figure out how to attach the cow tail to a different point because now it's hooked to one of the hooks on my PFD. And I saw a video of Seth Ashworth talking about you should have the hook on the quick release belt as well because if you have it on here as you can see and if your hook gets snagged you're still stuck and you can't release it so your carabiner should also be at some point where you can release it um i'm not sure how to do that so we'll go figure that out i wanted to attach my whistle to my pfd but i forgot the string upstairs so now oh, i have to go back Upstairs. Yeah, so what I wanted to do is figure out how to make, let me see if I can. So how to make this carabiner on the quick release strap, because right now, if you just hook it on, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna snag up in there. I don't know, I don't really like that. So what I was thinking is I have 
which came with the PFD. Let's see, put it in here. Got the safety tape in here. Where's that ring? Ah. So I had this ring that came with the PFD and I figured I could sort of make that ring on this quick release strap right here. So you can, yeah, see, it doesn't come off. So you can hook on right here. I don't know, I think this will, this doesn't really get stuck. So that is going to be a problem. Let's see if I can show that. So let me put my camera down. So when it's over here, it's going to slide to the back. And if it's all the way over there, you know, yeah, so that is a problem. I like this idea though, even though if you, you know, if you, so if, if you're rescuing someone and you need to pull the strap, you, you're gonna lose the ring, but you're gonna lose your cow tail anyway. So we don't really, I don't really care about that, but I do care about it moving back and forth. So we could try and maybe put it over here. So let's say you get snagged right here, pull it and you're free. I think that's, I think that's the way to go. If you think I am making a big mistake by doing it like this. So with the ring up here, let me know in the comments. I got the PFD, I got the cow tail figured out, I got my knife, I got the, the watch right here, the glow in the dark watch, got the whistle on. Now it's time to take it for a spin and I'll see you in the water. I made it over to the club and I actually decided not to go pedal this evening because I gotta meet up with some friends, but I do need to get some stuff from my boat, so let's go take it out. I need to go open the doors. of you that don't know I am going to go on a week-long trip to Vlieland. I'm gonna do a sea training camp and I am not taking my own boat because my own boat though it is technically seaworthy I guess it doesn't have thigh braces and I don't really feel comfortable in big waves in it so I will be taking Ron's boat right over here which is a really nice boat so thanks for that Ron. And I guess that's it for this week's vlog. Um, I don't know, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more vlogs like this. And next time, I'll make sure we go for a panel. So, till next time. <laughs>